Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, hello, good evening, everybody. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, hello, good evening, how are you? Good evening, how are you? I'm good, and you? Hello, hello everybody, welcome, welcome to the class. I'm happy to see you here, welcome. I can see Soveda, hello Soveda, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you today? Uh, pues, fine. <laughs> Excellent, very good, very good. And who else? I can see Rosa, hello Rosa, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Who else? Teresa, how are you today? Hello, hello. All right. I can see Carla too. Hello, Carla. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine, and you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Welcome to the class. Who else is there? I can see. I can see Kevin. Hello, Kevin. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How do you feel today? Very, very good. Ah, nice. Excellent. Nice. Very good. Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. I'm really happy to see you here. Thank you so much for being on time. Thank you for the one who has the camera on already. Very good. I'm glad to see you here. Welcome, welcome. It's Tuesday. All right. And remember that <clears throat> we are basically in the last week. Okay, so this is the last week for the level number one. Are you ready for the next level, everybody? Yes. Uh -huh. Very good. Like two people says yes. And the other one? Are you ready for the next level? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Very good. Very good. I know that you are more than ready for it. Very good job. Okay, so today we are going to have a lot of practice as always. Do you remember the topic that we studied yesterday? Uh-huh. Oh my gosh, you don't remember? What was the topic that we studied yesterday? In on a, a place. Ah, very good. We studied prepositions of place. At, in, and on. Very good. So today we are going to see more prepositions and we are going to practice a lot too. So welcome everybody. I hope you're ready to practice a lot, okay? Now, let's see, remember everybody to write your full names on your profiles, okay? Full names on your profiles. Don't forget to keep the camera on, please. I want to see you, everyone. Excellent, now I can see more people. Very good, very good. Okay, well, let's start. I'm going to start sharing the presentation. Let's see. Can everybody yes. see the presentation? Yes. Yes, teacher. Very good. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Okay, so today is October 10th, and we are in the week number four, unit number four. At this point, remember, you had to be working 
on the unit number four on the platform, okay? So this is the topic that we are going to study today, how to use their is, how to use their are, and we are going to include quantifiers. If you are like, I don't know what is a quantifier, don't worry, we are going to learn it today. So this is the class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the class objective. Only one? Me. Your teacher. Right. Thank you. Uh, I don't know who says first, but go ahead. Uh -huh. Go okay. ahead. Class objective. Participants will be able to, to use their is and their are and some common quantifiers. Perfect. So we are going to divide the class in two parts, okay? We are going to learn how to use their is, how to use their are in affirmative and also in negatives. And then we are going to learn how to add quantifiers, okay? But before starting, let's have a quick review about what we studied yesterday, okay? As you mentioned, yesterday we practiced prepositions of place, okay? So let's see. When do we use on? Do you remember? Sort of place. Surface, yes, like for example, on the table, on the wall, on the chair. Mm -hmm. What else? Uh huh. What else? What else? On the street. Names of the street. Name on the street. Correct. Exactly. For example, if I say on Salvador del Mundo Street. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. Then, when do we use in? Country. Countries, yes. Cities. Cities, what is the other one? Countries, in cities. Town. Towns, yes. Mm -hmm. And inside a place. So, for example, when you say in the room, in the bathroom, okay, cities in San Miguel, in New York, countries in Mexico, in France, okay, good. And how do we use at? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. specific, specific place. Single, single specific location. Single specific location. Exactly. For example, at work, at home, at the gas station. Now, if you remember what happens, imagine that I'm telling the name. So for example, I am eating at, I don't know, or, or for example, imagine that I'm saying where I work. Can I say, for example, I work, ta, 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 call center. Am I saying the name of the call center? In no. call center. Ah, what is the preposition? In or In. At? In. 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 Very good because I'm not saying the name, mm -hmm. but what happens if I say the name? For example, ah, I'm working ta, 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 sites. Nice. Uh, the position is at. Good job, uh, at, okay? So that is the difference. Remember that in mm -hmm. is when I don't say the name. Name, okay. No especifico. Ok, es como un call center, pero no sé exactamente cuál. Entonces, por eso digo in. Or, si yo digo el nombre, 
Entonces, sí es una single specific location. Entonces, digo, mm. at. Lo mismo <coughs> sucede, imagine que yo estoy comiendo mm. y digo, ah, voy a ir a comer. Y digo la palabra restaurant. Voy a decir, in the restaurant or at the restaurant. In, in the restaurant. restaurant. Ah, very good. In the restaurant. ¿Cuántos restaurantes hay en el país? A lot of. A lot of. ¿Y estoy siendo específica? No. No, really. Oh, no. But what happens if I say Pizza Hut? Can I say at Pizza Hut? Yes. 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 It's a yes. specific yes. location. Exactly. Exactly, it's a single specific location. So, if you are talking in general, in. In. But if you say the name, we say? At. Understood? Yes. Yes, perfect. Yes. Okay, let's have a practice. Um, I'm going to show you some sentences. You have to choose the correct preposition. For example, mm -hmm. look at the number one. On in or at the table? In. What will be the correct one? On the table. On the, on table. the table. On the table. On the table. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. ¿Por qué vamos a decir on the table? It's a surface. It's a surface. It's a surface. Perfect. Okay. How about the next one? On, in, or at Spain? At Spain. In, 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 Spain. in, Spain. in Spain. In Spain. Okay, some Caribbean. people say in, some people say in. at. In. 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 in because it's a country. Mm -hmm. Ah, very good. It's a country. ¿Cuál preposición usamos para los countries? In. 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 Very good, excellent, excellent. Okay, let's continue. On, in, or at the living room? In. In the living room. In the living room, why? Because it's inside. Inside a place. It's inside a place, excellent, that's the one. Okay, how about the next one? On, in, or at? On the wall. On. Hey, on the wall. Are you sure? Yes. On, yes. Why? Yes. On the wall. Why? It's on the superface. Surface, that's correct. It's on the superface. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good, very good. Okay, how about this one? On, in, or at 72 High Street? On. On. On, are you sure? Because it's street. Ah, is the name of the street. <laughs> yes, very good job. Okay, how about the next one? What do you think? At. At the train station. At. The train station. at. Why? Single location. Ah, very single. good. It's a single specific location. Easy or difficult, everybody? Difficult. Easy. Difficult? Easy? <laughs> okay. 50, 50. 50, 50. Okay, where is the cat? He's in a basket. On, On a basket. On a basket. On a basket. Or in. 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 Why? In because. because it's inside the basket. Ah, uh -huh. very good. So look at this one. Podríamos pensar, right? Ah, it's on porque está sobre el basket. Pero si se fijan, está no sobre basket. la superficie o está adentro. Dentro. Yes. Dentro. That's why we are going to say in. In a basket. Okay. Excellent. Now, on, in, or at? 
At work. At work. Are you sure? Yes. At yes. Work. Yes. Very good. A specific location. Excellent. Very good job. So everybody, the secret for these kind of activities is to memorize it. If you memorize it, it will be easy. How about the next one? On, in, or at? At. At home. At home. Are you sure? Yes. 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 yes totally. Perfect. Excellent job. And this one? On long. On. On long street. On long street. Why? Uh huh. Long street is the name of the street. Exactly, it's the name of the street. When we say the name of the street, we say on. on. Excellent, pretty good job, everybody. So easy to use the prepositions at, in, and on. Yes. Yes. On yes. Oh, one, two. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> Very good. So with the practice, everybody, okay, we need to memorize the scenarios and then it's going to be easier. Now, before continue, I'm going to check attendance. So everybody, when you listen to your names, say present, please. Um, Adriana Ernestina Contreras. Okay. Andrea Mariana Garcia. Present. Thank you. Claudia Noemi Cárcamo. Present. Thank you. Daniel Armando Rivera. Present. Thank you. Elmer Alexander Tejada. Elmer Antonio Hernández. Present. Thank you. Eric Alejandro Paul. Present. Thank you. Eh, Jenny Raquel Figueroa. Present. Okay, very good. Jocelyn Geraldine Evangelista. Present. Thank you. Jose Antonio Gomez. Present. Thank you. Jose Gustavo Acevedo. Carla Melissa Martinez. Present. Thank you. Casey Jaisel Cruz. Okay, Kevin Josue Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Laura Raquel Navarrete. Present teacher. Thank you. Mario Roberto Alfaro. Present. Thank you. Marvin Wilfredo Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Present, Present teacher. Yes, thank you. Meili Eunice Reyes. Present. Thank you. Monica Elisa Chacón. Present. Thank you. Rosa del Carmen Rojas. Present teacher. Thank you. Sobeita de la Cruz Méndez. Present. Thank you. Susana Beatriz Vázquez. Teresa de Jesús García. Present teacher. Thank you. And uh, William Alonso Rubio. Present. Excellent. Very good. Okay, everybody, let's continue. Now, yesterday, si se acuerdan, estuvimos viendo un poquito algunas prepositions que nos van a funcionar para poder dar direcciones. Okay? So let's try to remember a little bit. ¿Qué significaba behind? Do you remember? Behind. Atrás. atrás. Yes, atrás. Ajá, uh -huh, very good. How about in front of? Frente. Frente. Good. Next to? A la parte. A la parte. Okay. Between? Between. En medio. En medio, right? Okay. Inside? Dentro. 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 The opposite, outside? Fuera. 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 Excellent. Okay. Tomando en cuenta estas prepositions, ¿cómo podríamos nosotros dar direcciones? 
For example, digamos que ustedes van por ahí caminando y alguien les pregunta, hey, where is the bookstore? ¿Qué sería bookstore? Tienda de libros o librería. Ajá, very good. Yeah? So, ¿cómo podríamos dar la dirección? Tenemos diferentes opciones, ¿ok? Imaginémonos que primero tenemos que decir it's. Porque estamos diciendo, ah, está, está en, y como estamos hablando de bookstore, ¿es en singular o en plural? Singular. It's in singular. singular. ¿Es una cosa, sí o no? Yes. 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 Por lo tanto, vamos a decir, it's. Ahora, look at this one. Si ustedes quieren, lo primero que pueden hacer es decir el nombre de la calle. Para eso necesitaremos la preposición on. So, where is the bookstore? Ah, it's on Pine Street. Así se llama la calle, Pine Street. Luego, ustedes pueden dar puntos de referencia. Es decir, ¿dónde está la bookstore? And it's on Pine Street between the bank and the drugstore. ¿Qué significa esto? En, tres. en medio. En medio. ¿En medio de quién es? Del banco. And? Y la farmacia. Exactly. So, si se fijan, de la misma forma como nosotros damos direcciones en Spanish. Podemos decir el nombre del street y después dar puntos de referencia. Ah, está en medio del banco y la tienda de, o la farmacia. Ah, está enfrente de la escuela. Ah, está atrás del parque. Ah, está a la par de la iglesia. ¿Ok? So, lo mismo podemos hacer en inglés. ¿Qué pasa si yo quiero decir que está cruzando la calle? Vamos a decir, it's across the street. The street. Excellent. Digamos que en este caso está cruzando la calle de dónde? De la gasolinera. De la gas, gas station. station. Very good. Así que recuerden, everybody, queremos dar direcciones. Lo primero que tenemos que decir es It's. It's. Luego, el nombre de la calle, usando la preposición on. Oh. Luego, damos puntos de referencia utilizando cualquiera de los prepositions que hemos visto. ¿Ok? Veamos un pequeño ejemplo. Les voy a mostrar una picture de una city. So, imagine que yo les diga, ok, everybody, where is the church ¿Qué podríamos decir? Where is the church? Ajá. It's on Second Avenue. Avenue. Okay, it's on Second Avenue. Ajá. Uh -huh. Between the school and City Hall. Okay, very good job. Between the school and the city hall. Very good, excellent. ¿Qué otro punto de referencia podríamos dar para la church? En lugar de decir between, ¿qué más podríamos decir? Front to park. Very good, in front of the park. ¿Qué más? Across the street. Across the street. Yes. Across mm -hmm. the street from the park or across the street from the mm -hmm. school. ¿Puedo Ooh. usar la preposición next? Yes, the city hall. Yeah. Ah, very good. It's next to the school. Next to the school or next to the city. Oh, um, perfect. Excellent job. Now, hmm, where is the bank? A ver, where is the bank? 
The bunk is in the corner on the various street. Uh -huh. It's on First okay. Avenue. Ajá. Uh -huh. Si yo quiero decir corner, ¿cuál es la preposición que voy a decir? ¿Puedo decir in the corner? No. What is the preposition? At the corner. At the corner. At the corner. At the corner. On, On, y luego decimos Barry's Street and First. First Avenue. Avenue. Perfect. Okay, everybody. Where is the um, Arrows Company? Uh -huh. Where is Arrow's company? It's on between the restaurant and Bookworm. Very good. That's a good reference. But don't forget, primero decimos el nombre de la calle. En este caso, ¿en qué calle está? It's on Roosevelt Street. Roosevelt Street. Ah, it's on Roosevelt Street. Y ahora sí, el punto de referencia. Between... Restaurant... And good job. Very good. Easy or difficult to give direction? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Easy or difficult? 50 50? 50 50. Okay, let's continue practicing. Now, imagine que ustedes son nuevos en la ciudad. Ok, mm. so, aquí tenemos la ciudad y nosotros necesitamos ir a diferentes lugares. So, for example, imagine everybody, um, yo ahorita quiero ir a ver una película, ok. ¿A dónde necesito ir si quiero ver una película? Cinema. Ah, de cinema, ok. ¿Cuál es la pregunta que debo hacer? How can I get... Mm, ok, um, how can I get? Pero ahorita estamos viendo una que empieza con where. Uh, where, where is the cinema? cinema? Where is the cinema? cinema? Ok, everybody, ¿pueden ver el cinema ahorita? Yes. Yeah. yes. Ok, where is it? Where is the cinema? It's on David, David Street. David Street. David Street. And between the hotel. Hmm, between what? No. Next yeah. to the parking. Ah, next to the, the parking. parking lot. The parking lot. Yes, very good. So look, estamos preguntando, pero también estamos respondiendo. Okay? So let me ask individually. Let me pick someone. Ta -da -ta -da -ta -da -ta. Okay, Carla Melissa. Are you there? No, yes, yes, teacher. Good. Carla, mm, where is the Chinese restaurant? It's on Maple Street. Maple Street. Maple Street. Uh -huh. mm. Between on the library in Bank. The library? The library and bank. Okay, very good. Okay, uh, Carla, pick someone, please. Mm, Marvin Wilfredo Martinez. Thank you. Hello, Marvin. Hello, teacher. Okay, let's see. Carla, imagínese que usted quiere ir a un lugar, así que pregúntele a Marvin por ese lugar, please. Carla? Where is in the mu museum? Ah, okay. Where is the museum? 
Ajá, Marvin. Hello. Hello. No lo ubico. Oh, it's over here. Ah, ok. Eh, in the museum, eh, on corner, es, es trip. Mm, ok, ok. Vamos a ver otra vez. The museum, mm. it's on... Corner. Ok, remember, primero decimos mm -hmm. el nombre de la calle. Um, o si vamos a decir en la corner, pero ¿cuál es la preposición que voy a usar para decir in the corner? In, on, or at? On. Mm. At. At. Ok, at. empezamos otra vez. Decimos, ok, it's at the corner. Ahora, el nombre de la calle. Miami Street. Mian y Street. Ok, it's at the corner. No olvide la preposición antes de decir on. el nombre de la calle. On Main Street. ¿Y cuál es la otra calle? Maple Street. Eh, Maple Street. En Maple. En Ma yes. So everybody, pay attention here. ¿Qué pasa cuando un lugar está en la esquina? Y sí, podemos decir está en la esquina. Para decir esquina decimos at, ¿ok? It's at the corner. Y luego decimos las dos calles que atraviesan la esquina. En este caso, on Main Street, en Maple Street. Very good. Ok, Marvin, pick someone, please. Uh-huh. Hello. Pick someone. Um. Marvin, elija a alguien. Pick someone. Excuse me. Um... Okay, do I have volunteers? Uh, Kevin. Oh, Kevin. Okay. So, Marvin, pregúntale a Kevin algún lugar. Where is... Y elija un lugar. Okay. Uh -huh. Quickly, please. <laughs> me he salido de... No, no me da la pantalla. Ok, don't worry. Ok, yo le voy a preguntar uh, a Kevin. Kevin, okay. tell me, um, okay, where, okay. where is the hospital? Okay. Um, uh-huh. Where is the uh, hospital? Ok, um, It's on Maple Street mm -hmm. next to swimming pool. Very swimming good. Pool. Yes, next to the swimming pool. Perfect. Okay, pick someone, please. Uh, okay. Laura Raquel. Laura, okay. Hello, Laura. Hi, teacher. Ok, Kevin le va a preguntar a dónde está ubicado un lugar. Go ahead, Kevin. Okay. Where is the uh, payphone? Where is the payphone? Uh -huh. uh, payphone is, is from a police station. Ok, primero el nombre de la calle. Y okay. con... Ah, casi no veo. 
Um, payphone is David Street. On David Street. Uh, un punto de referencia, please. Uh, between uh -huh. a toy shop and police station. Thank you. That's the one. Excellent. Okay, everybody. This is the way that we can give address. Okay. Recuerden que primero decimos el nombre de la calle. ¿Qué preposición vamos a usar para decir el nombre de la calle? On. On. Ok. On Davis Street. On Maple Street. Después de decir la calle, vamos a decir un punto de referencia. Algo para ubicarnos. Ok. Ah, for example, ¿dónde está el hotel? Ah, it's on... A ver, ¿dónde está el hotel? David Street. David Street. David Street. Next to Bakery. Next to Bakery. Next to Bakery. Very bakery. good. Exactly. Okay. Easy or difficult to give directions? What do you 50, think? 50. 50, 50. Okay. Now. El secreto acá está primero en memorizarnos las preposiciones. Uh -huh. Y luego okay. tratar de ubicarnos para dar puntos de referencia. O sea, si yo no aprendo a, a decir cómo se dice en frente de, a la par, en medio, so, entonces no vamos a poder dar directions. Tenemos que aprendernos las prepositions. ¿Entendido, everyone? Yes. Yes. Do you have yes, a question? No question. Okay, espero que practiquen las propositions. Después se las voy a preguntar. Okay? Now, let's start for the topic that we have for today. Dijimos que el topic era there is and there are. Okay? Para este topic vamos a estar usando un vocabulary. Así que everybody, please, tomando nota, please. Okay? Vamos a ver los diferentes places in town. ¿Qué tipo de places puedo encontrar yo en un town? What do you think? Church. Library. A library. A church. ¿Qué más? Mm. School. Park. Park. Schools. Parks. Parks. Yes. Parks. That's Parks, yes. Aha, uh -huh, very good. Okay, let's see some vocabulary. Please, si ven una palabra nueva, write it down. Let's start. Look at the picture. What is this? Airport. 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 Very good. Is there an airport in your city? No. No. Okay. What is this? Bar. What is it? Bar. Bar. Restaurant. Mm, actually, this bar. is bar. like a bar. Okay, si se fijan, hay un montón de drinks, right? So, bar. bar. Is there a bar in your town? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, very good. How about this one? Beach. Beach. Is that? Beach. Beach. Is there a beach, beach. in your town? Yes. Yes. Ah, which one? What is the name? Stuka Beach. Stuka Beach. Very good. ¿Y los demás? De Cobano. Tunco Beach. Excellent. Very good. How about this? Hospital. 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 Is there a hospital in your city? Yes. 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 Very good. In front of home. Ah, very nice. Hotel. This is a hotel. 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 Okay. 
hotel. Is hotel. there is there a hotel in your town? Yes. 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 Good. <laughs> and what is this? Cinema. Cinema. Yeah. Cinema. So, a movie theater. tenemos dos opciones. Podemos decir cinema, que es de las más comunes, pero también podemos decir movie theater. Okay? ¿Qué significa movie theater? It's exactly the same. Is there a cinema in your city? Yes. Good. Yeah. And what is this? Swimming pool. Swimming pool. Swimming pool. Ah, very good. Swimming. swimming pool. Is there a swimming pool in your city? Yes. Yes? yes. Very yes. good. What about this? Restaurant. Restaurant. Ah, very good. In this restaurant. Case. Yes, it is a restaurant. Are there many restaurants in your city? Yes. 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 Excellent. How about this one? What is this? Supermarket. Supermarket. Good. Supermarket. Grocery so, store. We have two options. Mm -hmm. Supermarket is como la más común, pero también podemos decir grocery store. Oh. Okay? Significan lo mismo. Supermarket or grocery stores. Is there a uh, grocery store in your city? Yes. 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 Ah, very good. And what is this? Um, Do you say juguetería? <laughs> ah, that's exactly the word. So, ¿cómo lo decimos in English? ¿Cómo digo juguete? Toy. 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 Store? Uh -huh. Ah, toy store. <laughs> exactly, toy store. toy store. Is there a toy store in your town? No. 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 Yes. Okay. Ajá, all right. So, vamos a ver si pusieron atención. ¿Qué dijimos que era esto? Supermarket or grocery store. Grocery store. Ajá. Uh -huh. Restaurant. 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 Airport. 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 Very Airport. good. Okay. Acaban de pasar el nivel easy, easy del vocabulary. Nice. Do you want to try the medium? Yes. 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 Excellent. Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. What is this? Bus station. Bus station. Bus stop. Bus stop. stop. Recuerden que no es lo mismo. Bus station es como lo que decimos nosotros en, en español. En la terminal, exactly. Mm -hmm. Pero esta no es una terminal, sino que es una parada de buses. So, ¿Cómo decimos eso? Bus stop. Bus, bus stop. Is there a bus stop near to your house? Yes. Yes? Okay, yes. okay. very good. What is this? Mm, it's a casino. Uh -huh. Casino. Casino. Is there a casino in your town? Yes, yes. of course. Yes. In casino. fact, I work there. You work in a casino? Yes. Ah, that's nice. That's very <laughs> interesting. You know, I have never been here. Nunca he entrado a uno. <laughs> Así que that's interesting. Siento que tengo mala suerte. Por eso no lo intento. <laughs> So, what is this? A charge. Church. Ah, very good. Church. 
Are oh. there many churches in your city? Yes. 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 Okay. What is this? Gas station. Gas station. Is there a gas station in your town? Yes. Yes. Very yes. good. Aha, uh -huh. what is this? Gym. 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 Is there a gym in your town? Yes. 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 And do you go to the gym? Yes. No. <laughs> Only once is yes. Sometimes. Sometimes? Okay, mm -hmm. very good. Ooh, what is this? Prison. Mm Prison -hmm. or? Jail. Yes. Jail or prison. So, podemos decirlo de las dos formas. Jail or prison. It's basically the same. Is there a jail in your town? Yes. 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 Okay, hey, very good. Well, that is very bad, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay, what is it? Mall. A mall. A mall. mall. Shopping mall. Podemos shopping mall. decir shopping mall como la frase completa. Uh -huh. O decir solo mall is exactly uh -huh. the same. Si me dicen solo mall, se entiende. Is there a shopping mall in your town? <clears throat> Sorry. Yes. Yes. Ah, very yes. good. Do you go to the shopping mall? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay, what is this? Drugstore. 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 Pharmacy. También tenemos las dos opciones, ¿ok? Pueden pharmacy. decir pharmacy o pueden decir drugstore. Ambas drugstore. son totalmente correct. Uh -huh. Y de hecho, ambas son comunes de usar. Así que aquí la que ustedes quieran, pharmacy o drugstore. Uh -huh. Are there uh, drugstores? In your town? Yes. 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 A lot? Yes. Okay. Yes. A lot. Very good. Okay. This is something that we don't have in El Salvador. Nosotros en El Salvador no tenemos trenes, ni tenemos eh, subways o metros, right? Así que... Subway station. A eso subway se station. le llama subway station. ¿En qué países okay. puedo encontrar subway station? Italy. United States. Italy, in Spain. United States, in Spain. Yes. But here in El Salvador, no. Right? Here in El Salvador, ¿cómo, ¿qué es lo que tenemos nosotros aquí en El Salvador? Bus. Bus. Exactly. Entonces nosotros diríamos bus, bus station. 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 Pretty good, excellent. Okay, how about the next one? Uh, museum. Museum? Yes. Museum. Museum. Is there a museum in your town? Uh, yes. Yes. Yes, pretty yes. good. Okay, let's see if you paid attention. ¿Qué dijimos que era este? So station. Subway station. And here in El Salvador? No. no. Station. Aha. Uh -huh. Pharmacy. Pharmacy or drugstore. Pharmacy or drugstore. Small shopping mall. Shopping mall. Shopping mall or solamente? Shopping mall. 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 Jail or prison. Aha. Uh -huh. Jail or prison. Jail or prison. Jail. 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 Basta. 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 Very good. Excellent, everybody. Now, tomorrow vamos a seguir con más places. Tomorrow vamos a ver el hard y el very hard. Ahorita nos vamos a quedar solo con esos. ¿Ok? Ya aprendimos a decir los places in town. Ahora vamos a aprender a usar there is 
and there are. So, si yo les digo, ¿saben qué, chicos? In my city, um, there is a church. ¿Qué creen que les estoy diciendo ahí? Uh -huh. There is a church. Esta es. Hmm. Hay una iglesia. Exactly. There is es el verbo haber. Es decir, uh -huh. hay. En este caso, there is a church. Estoy diciendo que hay una iglesia. iglesia. El there are es exactly the same también. Pero ahora veamos cómo vamos a usar ambos. ¿Ok? Pay attention, uh -huh. please. There is... A ver, ¿cuántos monstruos ven aquí? One. 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 Only one. Entonces, Only there one. is... ¿Cuándo voy a usar there is? Singular. 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 Excellent. There is is for singular. Exactly. And there are? Plural. plural. For plural. plural. Exactly. And... ¿Cómo va a ser la estructura de la oración? Simple. Si es en afirmativa, vamos a decir there is. Luego usamos la palabra a. a. ¿Qué significa a? Uno. Un. Exactly. Un. Uno. Right? So, uh -huh. there is a pen on the table. ¿Qué estoy diciendo aquí? Hay un lapicero en la mesa. Hay un lapicero sobre la mesa. Correct. Now, hablando de las ciudades, imagine que en mi ciudad yo les puedo decir, you know what, in my city, there is a park. ¿Qué estoy diciendo ahí? En mi hay ciudad un hay un parque. Hay un parque. Hay un parque. Ok, a ver, díganme ustedes algo que tengan en su ciudad, pero que solo sea uno. What do you think? There is a mirador. Very good. Mm -hmm. In this case, para decir mirador, es más común decir viewer, como mm -hmm. de mirar. Mm -hmm. okay. ¿Qué más? Mm -hmm. In my city, there is a cathedral. A cathedral. Very good. ¿Qué más? A ver, everybody. There is, there mm -hmm. is fa pharmacy. There is a pharmacy. Mm -hmm. Very good. So look, this is the way that we can use there is. Only for singulars. Mm -hmm. Ahora, there are is for plural. plural. Entonces, ¿puedo decir there are a for plural? Mm -hmm. Sí o no. No. no, 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 right? Porque en este caso, A significa one. Así que no vamos a decir A. Aquí vamos a decir los números. For example, in my city, there are two gas station. Ahora, ¿puedo decir gas station o voy a decir gas stations? What do you think? Stations. Gas stations. Look. Plural, ¿ok? A ver, díganme algo que tienen en su city que sea más de uno, please. En mi city there are five malls. Five mall or five malls? Malls. Very good. That's a good example. ¿Qué más? My city uh, very is good. <laughs> Okay, in my city, can you repeat? <laughs> los demás, be careful con los microphones, please. No los dejemos abiertos. Eh, ¿Quién dijo algo sobre schools? No logré escuchar bien la oración. My ears eat schools. Okay, there are... ¿Cuántas? There ¿Cuántas are... Schools? Muchas. Muchas. Ok, ¿qué pasa si no sé exactamente cuántas? En lugar de decir un número, y aquí entra el tema que vamos a añadir, 
quantifiers. Uno de los quantifiers más comunes es a lot. A lot. ¿Qué significa a lot of? Uh -huh. Muchos. Muchos. Okay. O muchas. En este caso, como dice su classmate, ah, in my city, there are a lot of schools. Remember, si estamos usando there are, necesitamos agregar el plural. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más tienen en su city que sea en plural? My city, the... there are a, a, look, a lot restaurant. of restaurants. Mm, a lot of Resto restaurants uh -huh. or restaurants. Re restaurants. Ajá. Agreguemos el plural. No se olviden de eso. A ver, Claudia, mm -hmm. escuché que sabes. They, que sí, they are three jeans. Very good. Now, tenemos que ser cuidadosos con la pronunciation. Hay una diferencia entre there y they. ¿Ok? Aquí decimos there, como con una R al final. Pronounce it, please. There are. There, there are. are. Y acá estamos hablando de ellos. La pronunciación, the pronunciation is they. They, they are. are. They ¿Ok? Are. Be careful. Be careful with the pronunciation. Ahora, ¿Se entiende la diferencia entre el there is y el there are? Yes. ¿Ya? Yes, yes. Sí, sí. Ok. Ahora, ¿qué pasa si quiero decirlos in negative? ¿Qué tengo que hacer si quiero decirlo in negative? Ajá. Complement, ¿no? Exactly. It's very simple. Solo tenemos que agregar la palabra... No. no. Ok, por ejemplo, you know what, guys? In my city, there is not a jail. A ver, ¿pueden decirme algo que no tengan en su ciudad siempre en singular? Go ahead. Uh -huh. In my there city, is not a jail. Ok, can you repeat? There is not a chip. There is not a chip. ¿Qué es eso? Chip. Oh, gym. Yes, very good. There is not a gym. ¿Qué más? There is not a cinema. There is not a cinema. Very good. Uh -huh. There is not a hospital. There is not a hospital. Very good. Uh -huh. Anyone There else? There is not a toy store. There is not a toy store. Very good. Now, ¿qué pasa si estoy hablando en plural, pero lo quiero decir en negative? <clears throat> Sorry. Lo mismo. ¿Qué necesito agregar? La palabra not. Solo recuerden que si lo decimos en plural, hay que agregarle la letter S. For example, yo puedo decir, you know what? In my city, there are not... Um, le vamos a poner aquí, there are not five schools. No hay cinco escuelas. Creo que solo hay cuatro, si no me equivoco. ¿Ok? Look, there are not... Five schools, plural. O podría decir, ah, in my city, there are not parks. No hay parques, tal vez solo hay uno, right? Así que no hay muchos. ¿Qué más? ¿Podrían decirme algo que no haya en su ciudad en plural, please? Ajá. There are not gas store. There, there are not gas store. Mm, Puedo decir gas store. Are you sure? Gas station. 
Ah, so, puedo decir esto, there are not gas stations. Gas station. Stations. Ajá. Remember, tratemos de exagerar un poquito la pronunciación de los plural, porque por ratos, recuerden, estamos en una video call y no siempre se escucha. Así que, let's exaggerate a little bit. So, there are not gas stations. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más no hay en su ciudad? In plural. Let's see. In my city, there are not three church. Ok. ¿Cuál es el plural de church? Church. Churches. Yeah. Churches. Very good. In my city, there are not three churches. ¿Cuántas hay? How many? Two. Very good. There are two churches. Excellent. So, ¿se entiende, everybody, las affirmatives and las negatives con their is and their are? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre el there is y their are? Singular. There is is for singular. And there are? And there are for plural. There are is a plural. Good. Okay, si quiero hacerlo en negative, ¿qué es lo único que tengo que hacer? Add not. Exactly. Not. Solo agregarle Are la not. palabra. No. Excellent. Very good job. Okay, let's continue then. Um, imagine here. Tenemos otra ciudad. So, ¿pueden decirme qué es lo que ven en esta city? Tratemos de usar there is y there are. ¿Ok? ¿Qué pueden ver en esta ciudad? There is a cinema. Ah, only one cinema. Porque tengo un cinema por aquí y aquí tengo otro cinema. So, only one. They are, they are two cinemas. Ok, pay attention. They are o oh, there are. There, there are. are. Okay. There are two cinemas. ¿Qué más? There are, there are restaurants. Very good. There are restaurants. ¿Tenemos solo un restaurant o tenemos varios? A lot of. Yes, we have one over here. Por aquí hay otro, otro over here. So we can say there are restaurants. Come on. There is a gym. There is a gym. Very good. Yo creo que sí, no hay otro, así que very good. There, there, there is a supermarket. Ah, there is a supermarket. Mm -hmm. There are two, there are two coffee stations. Okay. Now, pay attention here. Cuando yo hablo de café, el café que se toma, la bebida, digo coffee. Pero si yo estoy hablando de la tienda, de la cafetería donde yo voy y compro un café, lo digo así como se escucha in, in Spanish. Café. ¿Ok? So, por ejemplo, voy a decir, ah, there are two Café. cafés. ¿Ok? So, cuando digan café, entonces estamos hablando de la tienda, del lugar. Si yo hablo de la bebida, voy a decir coffee. ¿Ok? ¿Se entiende? Ok. ¿Qué más? What else do we have in this city? There is a boutique. There is a boutique. Ok. There is a post office. There is a post office. Correct. What else? There is a swimming pool. There is a swimming pool. Nice. There is a bookstore. There is a bookstore. Yes. 
Are there uh, apartments? What do you think? They are two apartments. They Very are good. Two. Yes, mm -hmm. excellent. So look, estamos describiendo los places en una city. Easy or difficult? What do you think? Listen. Easy. Ah, Easy. Excellent. Very good. Ok, well, vamos a tener algunas practice, ok, vamos a ir haciendo algunos ejercicios para que nos quede súper claro cómo usar there is and there are, ok. Remember, there is tiene que ser para singular and there sí. are va a ser para plural, ok. Oh. Let's see, veamos las siguientes pictures. Si yo estoy hablando de un police car, ¿Qué voy a decir? ¿There is or there are? There is. There is. There is. Ok. ¿Two kids? They are. There are. There are. Pronunciation? Two. There are. There are. There are. Some cherries? There are. There are. There are. Ok. Y look, aquí tenemos otro quantifier, la palabra some. ¿Qué significa some? Algunas. Yes, algunos sí. o algunas. La palabra some, ojo, siempre va a ir con los plurals, ¿ok? Nunca con los singulars, solo con los plurals. Luego tengo monkey. There is. There, there is. is. Ah, there is. A monkey, sí. only one. A butterfly. There is butterfly. Yes. Few birds. They are. There are. There are. There are. Ah, ahora vean, aquí tenemos otro quantifier. A few. ¿Qué significa a few? ¿Cuál es lo contrario de muchos? Poco, poco, poco. Exactly. Por ejemplo, yo les puedo decir, you know what, guys, in my city, there are a few restaurants. ¿Qué estoy diciendo acá? Poco restaurante. Poco. Exactly. Pocos restaurantes. ¿Qué pasa si en lugar de a few digo son? Algo. Algunos. Hay algunos restaurantes. ¿Y qué pasa si digo a lot of? Muchos, muchos restaurantes. Muchos restaurantes. Pero si se fijan, siempre tenemos que usarlos con plurals. ¿Ok? Así que vayan anotando los quantifiers. Ya vimos some, a few, in, a lot. ¿Ok? Look at this one. Let's go to the next one. Many flowers. There are. There ah, are. There are many flowers. Ese es otro quantifier. ¿Qué significa many? Es lo mismo que a lot of. Okay? And the last one, three children. ¿Qué voy a decir? There are. There are. There are. Very good. So, otra vez. ¿Qué significaba some? Algunos. Algunos. ¿Puedo usar la palabra some con un singular? No. 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 Never. A few. ¿Qué significa a few? Pocos. 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 ¿Puedo usarlo con singulars? No. 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 A lot of. ¿Qué significa a lot of? Mucho. Mucho. ¿Puedo usarlo con singulars? No. No. Never. ¿Cuál es otro sinónimo para a lot of? Many. 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 ¿Puedo usarlo solo con singulars o solo con plurals? Just plurals. Excellent. Very good job. Nice. ¿Se entiende? Everybody? Yes. Yeah? Ok, veamos otros ejemplos, please. Y ahora voy a ir preguntando individually. Look at this. ¿Cuál sería la 
oración completa aquí. Vamos a ir viendo entre affirmatives y negatives. Puedo decir there is, there are, there isn't, or there aren't. What do you think? There is. There is. There is. Good. Ahora, prestemos atención aquí. ¿Por qué digo there is an apple en lugar de decir a apple? Because apple start with a vowel. Very good. Excellent. Lo mismo aplica si estoy hablando de places in my town. Imagínense que yo les estoy hablando de mi city. Y les digo, ¿saben qué? In my city, there is airport. ¿Qué voy a decir? A airport? An, an airport. An airport. An airport. Excellent. An airport. Very good. Okay, let me ask individually. Let me pick someone. Ta -da -ta -da -ta -da -ta. Um, Elmer Antonio. Hello, Elmer. Hello, teacher. Okay, Elmer, ¿cuál sería la respuesta correcta in this sentence? There are. There are four pencils. Pencil. Yes, very good job. Let's continue. Claudia, what is the sentence here? There is. There is an apple? Yes. No. Mm, a ver, look at the picture. ¿Podemos ver una manzana aquí? There is no. There is no. Really, right? Uh, Significa there que is es... not. Exactly. La palabra sería there, there is isn't. Not. Negatives. ¿Por qué es en negative? Look, no hay ninguna manzana aquí. Okay. Next one. Mónica. Hello, Mónica. Hi, teacher. ¿Cuál sería la answer in this sentence? There are some paper clips. There are. Yes. Good job. Excellent. ¿Cuál es el quantifier en esta oración? Some. 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 Perfect. ¿Puedo usar some con singulars? No. Nope. Never. No. Okay. Uh, let me pick someone. Sobeida. Teacher. Ajá. ¿Cuál sería la oración aquí? Hola. Hola. Yeah. Hola. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, Scissors. Um, es que no sé qué significa eso. Scissors. Son tijeras. Uh, ¿Puede haber tijeras okay. en la picture? No. Sería they aren't aren any scissor. Esa. Esa. Yes, very good. There aren't any scissors. Ahora, pay attention here. La palabra scissors significa tijeras. Esto significa imagine que acá yo tengo unas tijeras, imaginen que estas son las tijeras, ¿ok? La palabra tijeras siempre va a ir en plural, siempre, ¿ok? Por lo tanto, vamos a decir are, there are. En este caso, en negative, there aren't any scissors. Pretty good. Ok, next one. Let me ask you, Rosa. Rosa, what is this? There is a clock. Okay. Yes, clock. there is a clock. Excellent. So everybody, do you have any questions so far about there is and there are? Questions? This is the moment. No questions, are you sure? Okay, let's continue then. 
Ok, aquí tengo un bedroom. Quiero que me describan todo lo que pueden ver en este bedroom utilizando there is o there are. Go ahead. There are toys. There are toys. There are toys. There is a bed. There is a bear, a, a bed. There are there are clothes. Uh -huh. There are a lot of books. There are a lot of books. Very good. A lot of books. ¿Qué más? Is there a plant? Uh -huh. Pueden ver una planta yes. y ser a plant. There is, There is yes. a plant. Yes. Okay. A plant. There is a plant. How about and there is a lamp? A lamp. There is a lamp. a lamp. Yes. There are a suitcase. There are suitcases. Where? Yeah. No las veo. Uh, Okay, maybe the boxes. You're the, gonna yes. Boxes. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, there are boxes. Pretty good. How about the next one? What can you see here? There is a chair. There is a chair. There is. Yes. There is a mirror. There are two windows. There are two windows. They there are mirror. two toes. There are, there are some books. There are mm -hmm, some books. Some flowers. Some flowers. There are some flowers. There is a chair. There is a chair. Can you see a bed? Yes. There are two windows. There are two windows. Well, there is Ah, there is a closet. How do you say lamp? How do you say a pombra? Okay, rock. 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 Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Cuántas alfombras tenemos aquí? Two. There are two. There are two. There are two. Rock. ¿Cómo se escribe? How do you write? Okay, let me write it. Like this. Rock is in singular. Rock. Es en plural. So, en este caso, la oración sería There are two rods. Rod. Ahora, díganme en negative ¿Qué no ven en esta habitación? Tell me something that there is not there. Singular o plural. They are a TV. Okay, are... there are a TV. A TV is in singular. Close. There is there not. Is in... Okay, there isn't a... There isn't a... To be, to be. Good. Um, how about a dog? There isn't, there isn't a dog. No. There isn't, there a, isn't dog. a dog. How about children? There isn't children. Mm, pero children is in plural. There aren't. There aren't. Oh, yeah. There, there aren't children. children. There aren't children. There, eh, is a radio. there is a what? Radio. Radio. Are you a radio aquí? No. 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 Entonces vamos a decir oh. there is a, is a, is a, a radio. Very good. Okay, how about the next room? What can you see? There is a clock. There is a sofa. There is a sofa. There are two lamps. Okay, very good. I love books. Mm -hmm. Now, in there negative. Are two oh, okay. There are two windows. That's good. Ahora, in negative. There aren't, there, there aren't people. There aren't people. Very good. There aren't pets. There aren't pets. There aren't two clocks. There aren't two clocks. Very good sentence. There is a telephone. Ah, very good. Yes. Over here, no lo había visto, but yes, there is a telephone. Mm. 
¿Qué más? Encantado, amor. Ok, very good, very good. So remember, podemos decir in singular o plural, affirmatives or negatives. ¿Se entiende? Yeah? Yes. 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 Ok, now let's practice reading. I need some volunteers for reading, please. Who wants to read? Hi, Hi teacher. teacher. Okay, Kevin and Laura, creo. Yes? Yes. yes. Okay. Laura, usted va a ser Tania. Kevin, you will be Will. Go ahead. Okay. Hello. Can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, they are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on my street. I know it. I I know it. It is down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to sky to something else. Is here a training center? They are a lot of training center on the building mm -hmm. between May and King Street. I have some interview there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Thank you. Very good job. Excellent. Okay, look. En esta conversation podemos ver todas las estructuras que hemos estado estudiando. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, ¿cuál es la pregunta que él le hace al principio? Ajá. What is the Melbourne building? Ok, él está preguntando por un lugar. So, ¿cómo preguntamos por un place? Where is the... Y luego mencionamos el lugar. Ahora, ¿cómo le dio la dirección ella? There are. Ok, there are. ¿Cuántos buildings hay? Four buildings. Four buildings. Look, there are four buildings. Y ella le pregunta, right, ¿cuál es exactamente el que necesita? So, ¿cuál es el que él necesita? Rich. ¿A dónde está el que él necesita? On Main Street. Very On good. Main Street. Look, preposition. On. On, on Main Street, ¿ok? ¿Cuáles son los puntos de referencia que le dio ella? Down the street on the left side. Ok, ¿y qué significa eso? Down the street on the left side. Bajando la calle. O al final de la calle, ¿ok? Down uh -huh. street, ¿a dónde está? ¿A la derecha o a la izquierda? Exactly, very good. Now, él le hace una pregunta. Is there a training center? Yes or no? Yes. All right, yes. ¿Cuántos hay? A lot of. A lot of. A lot of. A lot of. Very good. A lot of es un quantifier. Excellent, very good. ¿Se entiende esa conversación? Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Now, let's see. Como les venía mencionando, la idea es usar there is y there are, pero agregarle quantifiers. Pregunto, ¿puedo usar quantifiers con los singulars? ¿Sí o no? No. 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 Ok, entonces se nos va a hacer bien fácil. Recuerden que los quantifiers van a ir solo con los... Plural. Plural. ¿Qué voy a usar entonces con los singulars? Con los singulars voy a usar a, or, and. 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 For example, volunteer please for reading the first sentence. There is an ATM across the street. Very good. ¿Qué significa ATM? What is that? Cajero automático. Exactly. So, 
Is there an ATM in your selling city? machine? Yes. Okay. Another one. Volunteer, please, for reading the second example. Uh, there, there's a equipment center on the corner of Bruce Street and Pierce Avenue. Very good. Ahora, ¿qué pasa si yo tengo plurals? Con los plurals puedo utilizar quantifiers. ¿Cuál es el quantifier que tengo en la primera oración? Alora. Yes. Volunteer for reading, please. There are a lot of companies down the street. Excellent. ¿Qué dijimos que era a lot of? Muchos. muchos, muchos. Ahora, tengo otro quantifier. Some. ¿Qué era some? Algunos. Algunos. Ok. Volunteer, please, for reading the sentence. There are some supermarkets on the right and left side of the street. Thank you. Very good job. Excellent. So, podemos usar quantifiers pero solo con los plurals, ¿ok? Again, yes. hagamos una practice. Le, tenemos aquí la misma ciudad, pero ahora quiero que me digan usando quantifiers, ¿ok? ¿Qué podríamos decir usando quantifiers? Vamos a enfocarnos en los plurals. There are Ajá. some café. Very good. There are some cafés. Estamos diciendo que hay algunos cafés, si se fijan. Plural. Excellent. ¿Qué más podemos decir usando quantifiers? A ver. There are some restaurants. Very good. There are some restaurants. Ahora, oh. si yo quiero, en lugar de some, ¿Qué podríamos decir en lugar de some restaurants? Porque hay varios. Ah, podríamos decir there are, there are a, lot. A, a lot of, lot of restaurants. ¿Qué más? What else? There are a few cinema. cinemas. There are, yes, there are a few cinemas. If you see, only two. Perfect. So, ¿Se entiende cómo usamos los quantifiers? ¿Ya? ¿Sí? Yes. Pregunta, ¿puedo decir um, there is some post office? No. Why? Es singular. Yes, it's only one. Así que no podemos usar quantifiers con este singular. ¿Entendido? Yes? Yes. Easy yes. or difficult? Yes. Easy. Easy? Yes. Excellent. Very good. Do you have any questions so far, everybody? Questions? Questions? No question. Okay. If you don't have questions, let's move on. Okay. Complete these sentences, please. Number one, volunteer for the number one. There is or there are marketing presentation across the street in the morning. Si yo digo there presentation, ¿sería? There is. There is. ¿Podría agregarle la palabra a? There is a, sí o no? Yes. 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 Okay, let me pick someone. Ta -ta 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 William, William, number two. ¿Cómo sería la number two? Um, there are business workshops down the street. Excellent. Ahora, y si yo quiero agregarle el quantifier some, ¿cómo quedaría la oración? Um, there are some business workshops down the street 
Good. There are some. Perfect. Okay, next one. Eric, number three. Dice la palabra no. Significa que la oración es en negativo. ¿Cómo quedaría esa oración? There aren't. Ok, there aren't. Ahora, fíjense en esto. Aren't es exactamente lo mismo, solo que contractado. There aren't recruitment centers. If you see, plural. Excellent. Ok, um, who else, who else? Recruitment. Recruitment, yes. So, Jenny, can you tell me the number four, please? No. Is it negative? Jenny? ¿Qué significa eso? ¿El qué? There, there is not. Okay, I'm sorry. ¿Cuál, ¿Qué significa qué? I'm sorry. Uh, recruit, recruit, oh, recruitment. recruitment. Ok, recruitment centers son como los centros de reclutamiento. Por ejemplo, ah, okay. si una compañía quiere contratar, ellos tienen como ese lugar donde convocan a los candidatos, ahí los entrevistan. Una outsourcing. Exactly, oh, básicamente. Uh -huh. Ok, okay. Eh, Jenny, can you repeat the sentence, please? There is not store on the corner. There is not. Of Roosevelt. Ok. ¿Puedo agregar la letra A? There is not a store. Yes. Yes. Recuerden, si es singular, agregamos a or an. Ok. En este caso es a. Pretty good. Volunteer, please, for the number five. Affirmative. There are. Uh, there are okay. There are banks behind, there are banks behind the factory. ¿A dónde están los bancos? Atrás de la, de la factory. factory. Good. And the last one. Volunteer, please. There is a mm -hmm. ransom politic. There the is. Puedo decir there is a Aranza building. An an Aranza. Aranza. Yes. Ah, aquí vamos a decir an. An. Yes, an. porque la siguiente palabra a empieza start. con una vowel. Good job. Exactly. Excellent. Very good job, everybody. Do you have any questions so far about there is? There are, there isn't, or there aren't. Um, your teacher. Yes, go ahead. Se puede utilizar, for example, there aren't some, or there aren't not. Ah, very good question. Pay a lot of attention here, everybody. Si vamos a hablar en negative, si podemos usar ciertos quantifiers. Por ejemplo, There aren't, podemos utilizar el quantifier many, podemos usar el quantifier a few, y podemos utilizar el quantifier a lot of. El que no podemos usar es el quantifier some, porque el quantifier some solo se puede utilizar en affirmative sentences. ¿Ok? Si la oración es negativa, no podemos usar son, ¿ok? Podemos usar, como dije, many, a few, en a lot of. ¿Entendido? Yes. yes. Ok, do you have any other question? Seguros. Ok, if you don't have questions, let's have a speaking practice. So, vamos a usar el vocabulary y el tema de grammar. Y quiero que ahorita ustedes describe your city. Yo creo que aquí todos vivimos como en lugares diferentes, así que todos van a describir su city. ¿Ok? So, tell your classmate all the things that you can find in your city. 
¿ok? Díganme todo lo que hay en su ciudad. Deben usar there is and there are. Y por supuesto, si utilizan plurals, podemos usar los quantifiers. ¿Entendido? Yes. Yes. ¿Se entiende la activity? Yes. Ok, ¿qué vamos a hacer? A ver, que alguien me explique. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Describir todo lo que hay en nuestra ciudad. Excellent. ¿Solo en affirmative? Sí, en affirmative. Y, y usar. Ah. Quantifier. Good. So, recuerden, pueden usar there is, there are, y también los quantifiers. Ahora, si ustedes quieren incluir oraciones en negativo, también lo pueden hacer. ¿Entendido, everybody? Yes? Yes. yes. Ok. Pay attention to your classmates. Porque yo les puedo preguntar, hey, ¿qué dijo su classmate? Ah, teacher, mi classmate es de San Miguel. Ah, ok. ¿Qué hay en San Miguel? Ah, él dijo que there are a lot of cinemas, for example. Ok? So pay attention to your classmates. Is everybody ready? Yes. ¿Todos listos? Yes. yes. Good. A partir de este momento, no more Spanish. Ok? Full English. Let's go to work. Everybody, enter to the breakup rooms, please. Oh, if you are in a group where nobody's talking, let me know so I can switch you to another team. Let's go to work. Describing mm -hmm. city. There, there are a lot of uh, pupuserias. No. In English, I don't know. Say. A lot of restaurants. A lot, a lot of restaurants. Mm -hmm. There is a gas station. There are uh, two parks. There are supermarkets. No. There is not a supermarket. <laughs> And you? There are a lot of banks. There are some parks. Ok, everybody, ¿por qué no los escucho hablar? I can see four people. Puedo ver a Laura, Rosa, Jocelyn, and Mario, but nobody's talking. Come on. <laughs> ok, ¿quién va a empezar? Who wants to start? Mario, porque es el único... Boy, okay. in the group. Okay, Mario, go ahead. Okay. The girls, uh, pay attention to him. Go ahead. In my town, there is one school. Okay, but where do you live? Ah, I live uh, in Santa Tecla. Okay. Santa Tecla. Um, in my town, there is one school. 
and there is one church. And there are a lot of there are a lot of grocery stores. Um, there is not a pharmacy. And, and there are there are oh, there is not a cafe cafe shops. Okay. Um, in my city, uh, there is um one school. Uh, one school. There is um uh, one church. Um. They are they they is a health unit. Um. They are they are not restaurant. They are not um, um bar. They 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 are is they are they are is a school in my my city. They they are is a stadium. In my city, they are a long of gyms and restaurants. My city, they is a show. They is a supermarket. There is a bus station. There is a park. There are two gas stations. There are three gyms. There are two pharmacies. And where do you live, Claudia? I live in San Salvador. Okay. And you, Marvin, remember to I live in I, uh -huh. I live in Acajut. Okay. And Antonio? I live in Suchitoto. Very good. Excellent. Teacher? Uh -huh. eh, aquí en Suchitoto hay un parque para niños. Yo, yo había dicho, they is a park children. Ah, ok. En ese caso, cuando es un parque solo para niños, con yes. juegos y todo eso, sí. podemos decir playground. Playground. There is a playground. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ok. Yes. Ok. Me. Now, you see there... Aaron or Ethan. Yes, 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 yes. There is a... Um, uh... There is a uh, supermarket. Um, there aren't. Um, there aren't. Uh, there aren't a uh, libraries. Um, a library? Yes, libraries. A library. A libraries. A singular. No. A is for a word that start with a letter. Mm. A, ¿qué Just... significa A? ¿Se acuerdan? Uno. Ah, si yo digo ah, la yes, 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 I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry, there are, um, aren't. there aren't libraries, 
Okay. And um, that's it. Okay, in my city, there aren't. Okay, hold on. I don't know where does Monica live. I don't know where Monica. William. I live. Uh, no, Monica, no, no, le no, no, no. no le digo. No le digo, right? In... Or see? <laughs> no. She ah. lives in... I just I just says that the, the in my city. Yeah. In my okay. city there is. <laughs> <laughs> Tienen que decir la city, everybody. Porque cuando yo les pregunté, okay, William, ¿a dónde vive Monica? ¿A dónde vive Sobeira? Y es como que, hey, oops, <laughs> olvidamos su cita. Sorry. Said, Please, exactly, you have We to know. say the name, okay? I live, I live in Mexicanos. Me too. Okay. <laughs> you are neighbors. Yes. Okay. And how about you, Sobeida? Where do you live? I Stanza, bro. Ah, okay, very good. Okay, continue, please. Okay. Um, okay. So, so, um, negativo, there, there is, is now high, high, creo que se dice prisión, ¿verdad? High. Um, jail. Jail, perdón. Jail. Um, is 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 mm -hmm. Oh, it's not. It's not, it's not, it's not a jail. Jail, a jail. Um, um, there, there I know, pardon, there is not, is not, um, mus, museum. 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 Okay. Um, that I know that it is not, um, Jing. Hi, where do you live? I live in San Miguel. Really? Yes. And you? I live I live here too. Oh, okay. Finishing t-shirt. Okay. Where does Maylee live? Um, hold on, hold on. ¿A dónde vive Maylee, everybody? Let's see if you paid attention. And I live San no, Salvador. don't tell them. <laughs> La idea <laughs> es ver si ellos pudieran She, she, live, she no. live. In San Salvador. Ah, uh -huh, okay. A ver, where does Elmer live? He live, no, he he la, he lives in uh -huh. San Miguel. He lives in San Miguel. Is eso cierto, Elmer? Yes, it is. Okay. And where does Kevin live? He he live San Miguel. San Miguel <laughs> too. In San Miguel too. Ah, very good. You are neighbors. Okay. It's my neighbor, and I didn't know. Oh my god. Okay, very good. Okay, let's go back to the main room. Okay, let's go back. Okay. All right, all right, everybody. Time's up. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. Yes. Well, let's wait for everybody. How was the practice?
Easy, difficult, 50 50. 50 50. 50 50. 50 50. Okay. Hey. teacher. <laughs> Let's see. Did your classmate say the name of the city? Yes. Yes. Les digo el nombre de la city? Yes. Okay, eso espero. Yes. ¿Se acuerdan dónde yes. están los classmates? No. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. Okay. Yes. Tutote yes. 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 Ah, sounds good. <laughs> okay, did your classmate use correctly the structure there is and there are? Yes. Yes. Did your yes. classmate use the quantifiers? Yes. 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 Okay, did your classmate speak in Spanish? No. A few. Um, okay. Ah, a few. <laughs> okay, remember, let's try to avoid Spanish. Did your classmate use the vocabulary? Yes. 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 Okay. All right. Ya voy a ver si es verdad que pusieron atención a sus classmates, pero primero voy a revisar attendance again. So please, everybody, when you listen to your names, say present. Adriana Ernestina Contreras. Present teacher. Thank you. Andrea Mariana Garcia. Okay. Claudia Noemi Cárcamo. Present. Thank you. Daniel Armando Rivera. Ah, okay, very good. Elmer Alexander Tejada. Eh, Elmer Antonio Hernández. Present. Thank you. Eric Alejandro Paul. Present. Thank you. Jenny Raquel Figueroa. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Geraldine Evangelista. Present. Thank you. José Antonio Gómez. Present teacher. Thank you. José Gustavo Acevedo. Okay. Carla Melissa Martinez. Present. Very good. Casey Jaisel Cruz. Okay. Kevin Josue Martinez. Present teacher. Very good. Laura Raquel Navarrete. Present teacher. Thank you. Mario Roberto Alfaro. Present. Thank you. Marvin Wilfredo Martinez. Present teacher. Very good. Neily Eunice Reyes. Present. Thank you. Monica Elisa Chacón. Present. Thank you. Rosa del Carmen Rojas. Present teacher. Thank you. Sobeita de la Cruz Méndez. Present. Thank you. Susana Beatriz Vázquez. Teresa de Jesús García. Present teacher. Thank you. And uh, William Alonso Rubio. Present. Okay, very good. Now, let's see if you paid attention to your classmates. Vamos a ir grupo por grupo. In the group. Teacher, disculpe. Uh, sorry, sorry. No escuché cuando me dijo la asistencia, pero present. Okay, Andrea, ahorita ya le Sorry. It's okay, no worries. Very good. Okay, let's see. Uh, group number one, Eric, Jenny, Carla. Bueno, me aparece Adriana too. So, let me ask to Eric. A ver, Eric, dígame el lugar de alguno de sus compañeros, please. Alguna de las cities de las que se acuerde. Eh, es que son de San Salvador, ella. Ah, ok, dos. perfect. Sí. Ok, dígame algo de San Salvador. ¿Qué le dijeron ellas? Uh, there are a lot of bars. A lot of bars. Sí. Ah, ok. ¿Qué más? Teacher, I say some examples. Ok. Okay, Jenny? No, no, no. Uh, 
I I say to Eric. Ah, it's okay. No worries. <laughs> uh, example. Okay, Eric. Algo en negative. Una oración en negativo que se acuerde. Mm, the una de las que puse yo es there isn't a swimming pool. There isn't a swimming pool. Okay, very good. Now, thank you, Eric. Let's see, in the okay. team number two, it was Jocelyn, Laura, Mario, and Rosa. Okay, let's see. Rosa, tell me, Rosa, where does Laura live? Teacher, no la escuché donde ella vive. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Laura, where do you live? I live in San Marcos. San Marcos. Ok, Rosa, ¿se acuerda de algo de San Marcos? Yes, uh, they are few. Cinema. There are few what? Cinema. Oh, there are few cinemas. Is that true, Laura? Ah. They, they, they are not. Ah, there are not cinemas. Oh my goodness. Ya, ese era chambre, man. <laughs> ok, it's ok. Rosa, a ver, ¿de qué más se acuerda? ¿Alguna sentence de San Marcos? No, teacher. Oh my gosh. Ok, let's see. Mario, where does Rosa live? Uh, she lives in Santa Ana. Is that true, Rosa? Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Mario, tell me something about Santa Ana. Santa Ana, mm, there are many bus stations. Mm, Rosa, is that true? Yes. Ah, and... okay. So Mario paid attention. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you, Mario. Very good. Let's continue. In the next team, there was Claudia, Antonio, Marvin. Let's see, Antonio, where does Claudia live? Acajutla. Okay, Claudia, is that true? No, San Salvador. Ooh, okay. Marvin, Marvin Acajutla. Marvin is from Acajutla. Yes. Okay. Jose Antonio, tell me something about uh, Claudia's city. ¿Qué le dijo Claudia? Go ahead. There is a, a gas station. There is a gas station. Claudia, is that true? Yes. Ah, okay. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Antonio. Let's continue. Monica, Sobeida, and William. Monica, where does Sobeida live? She lives in San Salvador. Hmm, Sobeida, is that true? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, Monica, tell me something about San Salvador. ¿Qué le dijo Sobeida? Okay, uh, there are two pharmacies. Hmm, okay, Sobeida, is that true? Yes. Ah, okay, you paid attention. Excellent. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. The last team, in the last team, Elmer, Kevin, and Maylee. Okay, Maylee, where does Kevin live? Uh, he lives in San Miguel. Ah, okay. Is that true, Kevin? Yes. Okay, Maylee, tell me something about San Miguel. Um, there is a summer. There is a what? Uh, sorry, a playa. Ah, how can I say Beach. playa? Beach. 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 Okay. Sorry. Beach. There is a beach. Okay, Kevin, is that true? Yes. Good. Okay. Listen, everybody. ¿Por qué les hago estas preguntas? Cuando vamos a los breakup rooms, no solamente se trata de hablar, sino también de escuchar y tratar de entender lo que nuestros classmates nos están diciendo. Now, 
Look at this one. There are little details que tenemos que tener cuidado. For example, there are a two parks. Is that correct? Puedo decir there are a two parks? No. 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 Okay. ¿Cuál sería la oración correcta? There are two parks. Yes. Ahora la siguiente. They are is a school. ¿Cuál sería la oración correcta aquí? There, there, there is. Ajá. There is a school. A school. There are bar. ¿Puedo decir eso? There are bar. No. Bars. No. Very bar. good. Bars. ¿Cuál es la pronunciation aquí, please? Bus. 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 No decimos bus. bus. Decimos bus station. Y la última. There aren't a library. Bus station. There aren't libraries. ¿Necesita la letra A aquí? No. 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 Remember, A is for singular. ¿Ok? Excellent job. Well, everybody, unfortunately, we don't have more time. We are going to stop right here. The winner, winner for tonight is Soveida. Hello, Soveida. Are you there? No. Hi. Okay, Soveida, <laughs> usted se tiene que quedar, please. Los demás, everybody, you are free to go okay. to sleep. Have a good night. Bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. Goodbye. Good night. Good night, everybody. Only Soveida stays, please. Okay. Hello, Soveida. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. <laughs> Excellent. Me cuesta, me cuesta, teacher, la pronunciación, pero estoy tratando de meterle lo más que puedo. Yo siento que las palabras también, algunas yo no sé qué significan y ahí es donde me, me trabo. Pero, yes. Y no se preocupe yo... que es, es, un, es algo muy común. Recuerde que estamos en el primer nivel. Entonces, el primer nivel es un poquito complicado porque vemos mucha información. Estamos viendo vocabulary, estamos viendo sí. estructura, es bien complicado. Así que si siente que ahorita le falta, no sabe las palabras, le cuesta pronunciarlo, remember que eso es normal, ¿ok? Si usted se fija... Yo alguno... me decepciono a veces, diría, ay, no, no si te iba a no sé. Pues sí, pero bueno, yo digo, no, es que tengo que poder, ¿verdad? Claro que sí. Si otros ya pudieron, ¿por qué usted no? All right? sí, Así que, sí, um, sí. si se fija, algunos de esos classmates como que le agarran rápido, como que ya pueden, pero recuerde que a veces son personas que tal vez ya estudiaron inglés anteriormente. ¿Ok? Entonces, yes. no podemos estarnos comparando con ellos. Todos vamos a nuestro propio ritmo, así que no se desanime aquí poquito a poco. ¿Ok? Y yes. lo que nos cuesta ahorita lo vamos a ir perfeccionando en el camino. No es que en el primer nivel lo vamos a aprender todo. No, relax. Little by little. ¿Ok? okay. De hecho, lo está haciendo yes. bastante bien. El feedback que yo tengo de parte de, eh, por su parte es muy bueno. La veo que participe en clases. Eso es, a I mí, mean, super good. Con la plataforma veo que ya la terminó completamente. Así que, good. Eso también es un Thank feedback you. muy positivo. Eh, en cuanto a la asistencia, Sobeida, su asistencia es básicamente perfecta. Así que, si se fija, usted va súper bien. Sí, yo sé que en algunas cosas nos puede costar, pero no se desanime, lo está haciendo súper, súper bien. ¿Ok? Thank you. Sí, Very good. No sé si tiene alguna okay. pregunta sobre la clase. Um, no, yo estamos encantados con usted en realidad, cómo nos enseña. Lástima que nos cambien. <risa> Porque yo <risa> le, me aflijo con algo otro. Es que um, en empresa, o un grupo que es uh, 
hicieron porque les tocó un teacher muy enojado, lo llevaba a mil por hora, no lo entendían y se okay. pues, retiraron. Ojalá que el que sigue no sea así, el que nos toque a nosotros. <risa> yeah. Porque con usted vamos bien, muy, muy bien. Y pues yo siento que he aprendido. Le agradezco ah, mucho. Le agradezco, pero sí, es que yo me da, o sea, toda la vida he sido así para hablar en público. Uh -huh. Me cuesta y tal vez sé las cosas, pero me bloqueo. Ah, pero aquí lo está haciendo muy bien, porque yo veo que participa, así que si siente que eso le cuesta, pero lo está intentando, eso es exactamente lo que yo pido de los estudiantes. No les estoy pidiendo perfección, les estoy pidiendo que lo intenten, que, que, les, o sea, que pierdan ese miedo de hablarlo, ¿ok? Por eso si se fija desde el primer día de la clase, speaking, ¿ok? Y en todas las clases, speaking, para que se acostumbren, ¿ok? Yes, sí, sí. le agradezco, pero de ahí nada más. Y teacher, y cuando termine este nivel, tenemos que hacer examen, o son eh, los exámenes, son los esos, solo. Solo son los de la plataforma. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Yes, Perfect. don't worry. Ajá, así que si Ajá. ya terminó con la plataforma, básicamente usted ya solo está pendiente de culminar con todas las clases para lograr el porcentaje de asistencia y ready ya para el siguiente nivel, ok? Ah, yeah. Primero Dios, yes. que sea usted, que sea usted misma. Bueno, Pero esperemos bueno. que sí, la verdad, eh, también me gustaría seguir con usted, al menos sí. un, un nivel más, así que sí. es de esperar, vamos a esperar a ver qué sucede. A ver qué okay. tal, ok, yes. sí, sí. ok, bueno, well, eh, no sé si tiene otra pregunta. No, por el momento no, Ok, ¿verdad? bien. Muy okay. agradecida con usted. Es un ¿verdad? placer. Gracias. Bien, Sobeida. Nos quedamos hasta acá entonces. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye.